Hey, what's going on guys? This is Amfrost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another TE14 update video, and this time it is going to be on the Ender Chest, as you can see here. Now, the Ender Chest is going to be in TE14, as 4J Studios did tweet out saying that TE14 for the Xbox and PS3 is going to be based on the 1.3.1 Java update that came out for Minecraft on the PC which the inner chest and stuff was in there so we're going to go over the inner chest and I'm going to fully explain it so you know what you can do and how it's different from the regular normal chest and stuff like that so what an inner chest does is it safely stores all your items like kind of like a bank like how when you go to a bank you put your money or your valuable stuff in there like your money and it's safe for everything it cannot be grieved people cannot take it it's safe it's like this you cannot Inner chests are immune to explosives, that means you cannot blow them up. People cannot go into your inner chest and take stuff from it. Only you can access your inner chest, which is really, really cool. It's pretty much like a bank. You can access the inner chest in different dimensions. So let's say I'm in the end, and I want my diamond from home at the inner chest. I have an inner chest with me. You just place it down, open it up, and then, you, then you're going to have your diamonds. You can kill the inner dragon. Same as for the nether. It works like that. So... When you go into your inner chest, stuff already is in there. As you see, let me go ahead and take the stuff out actually. You see how it's nothing's in there right now? If I just put in this inner chest, it means I can get it from any other inner chest as well. See in here, it came in this inner chest too. So you say safely transports it all around the world for how many inner chests you have. You put in one inner chest. Any other inner chest you put down, you're going to see the items that you had from the other inner chest. That's pretty much what it what does. It's like a bank. It has different it has particle effects. As you see, it has like purple particle effects. Like an Enderman or like the Nether Portal emits it. Like the Village Dude, when you get happy in the trades, pretty cool effect. Let's say you're lost in the um, wilderness over here and trying to like explore and you lose your way from home. If you have an inner chest with you, you'll just place it down put all your stuff in there that you have and then kill yourself and when you get home open up the inner chest from home and all your stuff's going to be there so you don't lose none of your valuable resources that you have or anything the difference between an inner chest and a normal chest is these cannot be doubled the inner chest wait whoops as you see it cannot be doubled it is you can go beside each other but it cannot be doubled so let's go ahead and fill that back up oh yeah and how you craft the inner chest is you need 8 obsidian, put it all around like you would a regular chest, but it's put eye of ender in the middle of it, and it creates an ender chest. Now, there's only one way you can break an ender chest and get the ender chest back, and that's with a silk touch, silk touch pickaxe. So if we go to game mode survival, and if you just break it with the regular pickaxe, it will just give you 8 obsidian. You need at least an iron pickaxe to get an um, ender chest back. So you don't need diamond, you just need iron. As you see, it gave me eight obsidian back. If I break it with silk touch, it will give me back the pick. I mean, the ender chest. So let's see. I got the ender chest back. As you see, so pretty useful. Just put a silk touch pickaxe in the ender chest. So if you can just pick it up on your way, if you put it down somewhere, just have a pickaxe in there where you can pick it up. So these can be placed in minecarts. So if like adventure map or something you put them in there and set a button on the way it's I guess you can use that for adventure maps it's usually used for valuable valuable <laughs> items like diamonds or emeralds which that's what I would use them for or anything like that and uh, if you break it your items can still be accessed from an inner chest so you see I broke both the inner chest my items are still in there so even if you break the inner chest just items are still going to be in there they cannot be lost, they will always be accessed, you just need to make a new ender chest so you can get them items back. So, it's pretty much useful, it's like a bank, but this time it can never go destroyed. Like if a bank gets robbed or something, your money can get gone there, but these can never lose them. Like if you're on multiplayer, people can't access them, only you can, it creates different ones for everyone else. So only you have access to your ender chest, and people have access to their ender chest. So. It's pretty much like your own little bank that you can take with everywhere with you. So it's like a transportating bank, I guess. So um, that's it for this video. And if you do enjoy this video and you want me to make more T14 update news, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. Peace.